Hi everyone, this is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Today's topic is setting an expiry date on reagents. Today we will learn on how the expiry date is set for a laboratory reagent. The purpose is to ensure that the reagents and chemicals used in testing should not compromise the results which decide on the product quality. This is entirely different subject compared with the stability studies conducted for establishing the shelf life or expiry of APIs and drug products. For testing purposes, there are several chemicals and reagents used to get correct and reliable results. Basic requirements are as follows. For each step of chemical analysis, a specific reagent is required. There may be more than one reagent or chemical used for a particular analysis. There are several chemicals and reagents which are unstable and with lower shelf life. The stability or usability of the reagent is not same always. There are very stable reagents that has very long life without any deterioration. If the reagent is not particularly reactive to the surrounding environment or during normal use and retains its useful properties on the time scale of its expected usefulness, it is considered as stable. Salts like sodium chloride or potassium chloride or sodium carbonate are very stable. But there are significant number of reagents and chemicals that are unstable and gets deteriorated faster. Reagents like ammonia or hydrochloric acid solutions are relatively unstable. They lose their strength over a time period if not stored properly. Strong reagents like potassium permanganate get reduced if exposed to atmospheric oxygen. So, depending upon the characteristics of the reagent, it can be classified as unstable or less stable with shorter shelf life. Shelf life also depends on the storage and packaging conditions for chemicals and reagents. So, it is important that the reagents are stored at appropriate suitable storage conditions to avoid deterioration. Validity of the chemicals and reagents is vital part of quality control laboratory testing. Obviously, if the chemical or reagent used for testing is not valid and unusable, the results of the analysis are questionable. The shelf life may be different for an unopened container and opened container. This is important. The stability of the reagent is established in its original container till it is opened. When once it is opened, the stability or usability depends on the usage conditions and storage conditions after use. You can see this example in drug products also. Compounded drug products will have much shorter life. For example, an antiseptic eye drops bottle or an antibiotic suspension with sterile water may have a shelf life of two years in unopened condition. When once it is opened, it should be used within a very short period, maybe one month or so. There are two types of chemicals and reagents used. They are off the shelf that is ready to use, in-house prepared. We have both these types of reagents used in the laboratory, outsourced and in-house. Off-the-shelf materials are readily available in market in suitable pack sizes. You may procure any suitable size depending upon the usage pattern. In-house reagents are prepared as and when required. 
in house prepared also has some condition freshly prepared means validity for usage of the reagent is within 24 hours after preparation other reagents like volumetric solutions are also prepared in house there are several grades as ar gr acs lr commercial etc the difference between the ar grade or gr grade or acs grade and lr grade or commercial grade is that the ar grade is an analyzed reagent that means it is certified reagent you can see the detailed certificate of analysis printed on the label of these reagents bottles these chemicals are used for quantitative analysis purposes lr or commercial grades are generally used for qualitative analysis in usp reagents indicators and solutions chapter there is a specific requirement to use acs grade wherever it is prescribed so the type of reagent should be as prescribed in the compendia there are other special grades as hplc grade or spectroscopic grade there are specific for hplc analysis these reagents are filtered through 0.22 micron filters to remove any fine particulate matter spectrometric spectrophotometric reagents are specific for cut off at specific wavelength the cut off wavelength will be written on the label of the bottle use always pfo or fefo system since the validity is important either of these systems may be used first in first out or first expiry first out let us see the recommendations for unopened reagent bottles when expiry date is assigned by the manufacturer for any chemical or reagent it should be understood that it is for unopened container unopened means the original seal is not broken and the container is intact in its original container when expiry date is not assigned by the manufacturer assign a date of 4 years from the date of receipt for the unopened container in the original container if the material is stable at normal storage conditions this is a general rule for adequately stable materials but try to avoid procuring reagents that has manufacturing date more than 2 years you may have to store 2 plus 5 that is 7 years that is too long the expiry period assigned by the vendor is valid only when the original container is stored in the recommended storage conditions of temperature and humidity real time monitoring by getting experimental analytical data on critical parameters both physical and chemical should be done let us see how the expiry date is set for opened containers the stability or usability of opened containers largely depend on how well the material container is closed after each use and how well it is stored appropriately real time monitoring on the physical parameters like flowability properties any caking or any lumping etc should be considered for assigning the expiry date certain materials like sodium hydroxide tend to become wet when left exposed longer to uncontrolled atmosphere the sodium hydroxide pellets or flakes become a sticky mass and makes it unusable authenticity of analytical data generated using the reagents can also be considered for assigning expiry date the certificate of analysis provided by the supplier scientific papers chemical knowledge about the nature of the reagent may also be considered for setting the shelf life this is another reliable source for getting correct information on expiry date of reagents risk assessment is one of the best options to assign the shelf life the risk assessment should consider the stability of the reagent 
and impact on the analysis correct response of the reagent for the intended purpose so this is one of the important options for the purpose of setting expiry date some more details are provided in the next slide on the risk assessment strategy in house prepared reagent solution a visual check could be the first criteria for assigning shelf life a visual inspection for appearance of reagent solution will give some supporting information for setting expiry date any haziness or color change can also be criteria for setting expiry date sensitivity test could be another criteria this test is also called use test this establishes whether or not the reagent is functioning as expected a risk assessment considering the usage type example for quantitative purpose for qualitative purpose as an auxiliary reagent is the reagent prone to oxidation hydrolysis photo degradation evaporation ph change because of atmospheric carbon dioxide or microbial growth etc as explained in the earlier slide risk assessment is a good tool to achieve scientific way to set the expiry date suitable storage conditions are also important to consider for the purpose this is very important the storage should be appropriate to the characteristics of the material classification of storage could include separate compatible materials in one place all the acids in one place all alkalis in a separate place away from acids oxidizing agents should be stored away from the reducing agents certain reagents like ammonia or ether must be stored at refrigerated conditions to avoid any evaporation there can be any other suitable scientifically justified classifications also for the storage adequate supporting data may also be considered any other supporting data generated from analysis data will be useful for setting expiry date for the reagents let us see how the volumetric solutions are assigned with shelf life routinely used normal solutions or molar solutions could be evaluated every week and whenever there is a change in the original value by more than 10% assign one week less than the time station as shelf life for example for one normal sodium hydroxide solution if the standardization values are 0.98 normal in week 1 0.95 normal in week 2 0.93 normal in week 3 0.90 normal in week 4 and 0.85 normal in week 5 the value is less than 10% of the original value in week 5 so the shelf life could be assigned as 4 weeks this is one of the easier methods to follow other important points to consider when using the microbiological testing related reagents media disposable media plates it is necessary to inspect audit the process of preparation and sterilization at the supplier's end for microbiological testing it is recommended to audit the supplier particularly when the ready made disposable media plates or petri plates or sterilized media is procured for analysis irrespective of the shelf life declared on the sterilized plates there are chances that the plates may get contaminated if they are not properly packaged and distributed based on the evaluation of results the shelf life could be assigned for such reagents based on the inspection and data integrity the shelf life could be assigned i hope that the information in this video is useful for establishing the expiry date of reagents and chemicals 
We may also refer General European OMCL Network Guideline PAPH OMCL 2160R2 for more detailed information. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please do subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.